All right, I'm back. Um, so I realized in my last tutorial, as I was watching back through it, that I did not go over how to create new users and then to, add, to grant um, new users um, root access um, to make them, quote, sudoers. Anyway, so I'm just going to show you real quick how to do this on your Raspberry Pi. Um, I think this is pretty much generic to any Linux uh, system. I may be wrong. Um, but first off, so I just SSH'd in um, to the Raspberry Pi using PuTTY and... Um, I'm just going to show you how to create a new user. So once you're at a command prompt, you're just going to do um, uh, sudo add user, and then let's just and then the name of the username that you want. So let's just call it John. Let's see, it should work. All right, so it's adding it. Blah blah blah. Now it's going to ask for John's password. We'll give him a nice password. Of I'm going to remove him, so don't worry about it. Okay, we don't care about his name, work, whatever. Okay, um, should ask us if that's correct, and we hit yes, that's correct. Okay, cool. So we've created new, we've created a new username, John. Um, he has his own, own home directory. Um, he can log in now. But if we want John to be a sudoer, so he can actually um, execute commands that require root root access using using the sudo um, modifier. Um, the way you do that. Is we go. Uh, we need to edit the um, sudoers file, and I believe that's. Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's Etsy slash sudoers. Okay, so we had sudo sudo nano Etsy slash sudoers, and we're here. Okay, and if you look at this, what's going on with with this whole deal? If you scroll all the way down to the bottom, I've already added this name. This for me because this is me. Um, this is my user account that I've already created on this this pie. Um, but if you want to give John um, the ability to sudo, um, you would just just basically copy what they've done. Um, so they already have it set up for the the pie username to do this as well. Um, so you would just say like John space all in caps equals all, and then you have the option here. Um, of whether you want them to have to, if it requires them to type in a password every time they do a sudo command, and um, I think it's really annoying. Um, so you can just say no password, and then you just do all like that, and then you do Control X to exit, Y to save, Enter to write, and there we go. And so now you have a new account, um, you have a new username named John on your Raspberry Pi. Um, I think this is really, really useful um, to create multiple accounts if you have multiple projects that you're doing on your Pi, um, and you maybe want to keep those files separately under separate accounts and those sorts of things. Um, if you have multiple people using it, which is pretty unlikely, but um, anyways, it just shows you how to do it if you want to be able to do it. Um, me, I, I just wanted to create my own personal account. Um, called Kyle just because I wanted to do it and I wanted to build a root access so that's how you do it um, again if you have any questions about how to do this let me know um, also uh, check out the previous tutorial that goes through this whole setup of basically how to your first just to get in and to set up the Pi um, and uh, yeah hope you enjoyed it and thanks uh, for watching Meister Vision this is Kyle see ya